Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tim and this is Tim the Trailman and today I'm going to give you an update on the Garmin power switch. I've been getting a couple questions on how have I wired up the hard switch buttons inside the car to operate different lights for the power switch. So as you know from my previous video, the Garmin power switch does not come with any physical buttons. That's one of the benefits slash negatives of the device. The positive side of that is it doesn't require you to run a wire through the bulkhead and then put a massive control panel somewhere on your dash that may be difficult to locate. The negative side of that is that if you want buttons, it's a little bit more complicated to wire up and sometimes you just want a physical button to be able to push that and then turn a light on or off. There is a loophole that Garmin did provide, not necessarily intended for. So there's two controller inputs that you can wire up switches and then whatever those inputs are programmed to in the app then those will turn on when you press the buttons. I'm gonna show you in three stages how to get this accomplished. The first part's gonna be the outside of the vehicle, how to wire it up physically. Then I'm gonna show you the inside where the switches are and how those are wired up. And then third, I'm gonna show you a screen recording of the phone on how to program those inputs. Okay, so first thing first here, outside under the hood, you're gonna be able to see that I have a separate fuse block wired here with a ground bar. And then underneath the Garmin cover with it removed, you can see that there's six circuits that wire up the lights. There's a positive and a negative to where you're gonna power up the unit itself. And then there's these two other leads here, and those are gonna be for your control one and your control two. So whatever is powered up to those, when it sees a voltage signal, it's gonna tell the app to turn on the lights that are programmed to it. The main idea from Garmin is if, say, it's a speed sensitive or a high beam sensitive thing. When you flash your high beams, it sees voltage. It'll turn on those auxiliary lights as well or say if it's reverse, it could see a reverse signal and it turn on those lights. In this case, I wanna be able to just turn a button on and then have multiple things happen at one time. So for the wiring part of it, the switch inside is gonna be powered off the fuse block. The switch is gonna be grounded to the ground bar. And then that signal wire that's wired to the control input is gonna be the output of the switch on the inside. So let's jump inside and take a look at that. Okay, so here's the two switches inside the dash. The one on the right side is for control input one. The one on the left side is for the control input two. You could put them in however you want. That's just the way that I wired them up. So here with them removed from the dash, the wiring on the switches looks a little complicated. I ordered them from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. You have a power input to the switch, a power output from the switch when it's pressed. You need to ground the switch, and then it has this extra wire where the backlighting will be on all the time or you don't have to wire that up at all. I have it lit as you can see here. So there's a blue glow inside the car. It's very minimum voltage. I'm not worried about it killing the battery at all. Then when you press the button on this particular switch, the light will light up on top showing that the circuit's actually powered up. Okay, for step three, how do you make it work inside the app? Okay, with the app open up and connected to the device, you need to be within range with Bluetooth signal. That's how the device talks to the app. You're gonna go ahead and press the settings button in the top left. Then you're gonna select the device. Mine is just named Tim for simplicity. Then right there at the top is control input one and control input two. When I select control input one, you can see that it opens up the six circuits. I selected the XL80s, so I know when I press the button on the right side of my dash, my XL80 ditch lights, they're gonna turn on just as they are. Looking in control input two, you can see that I've programmed them to turn on all my grill lights, my last fit light bar and my last fit pods. While doing this, I wasn't sure if there's another way to program the button or the switches to operate, say you wanted them to strobe or momentarily come on using the control inputs. So here, what I looked at is editing the button on the circuit itself when you set it up. If you set up the XL80 button to be a strobe with a half intensity or a full intensity, that's gonna be the same as when the control input one is pressed is basically how that switch works on circuit two. So however the circuit is set up on the button, it's gonna be how the control input one or two controls those lights. Those are the three stages that I could think of how to show the wiring on those control switches. It's a little confusing to explain. It's much simpler in person. Have confidence that you can do it yourself. You're just gonna be providing power and ground to the switch and then out of the switch, once it's pressed, that's gonna to go to your input piece. After that, it's all setting up in the app and Garmin, the app is super simple. As an update, I have not had any problems with the app. The software has worked. Every time I've pressed a button, the lights have come on. I haven't had any issues. I wanna give a shout out to my patrons. Thank you for your support. It means a lot to me and the channel. And if you'd like to be a patron too, please head on over to patreon.com forward slash Tim the Trailman.
If you have any other questions about operating the Garmin Power Switch, or if you'd like to see a full review of how to control the app or other things about the Power Switch, please let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to see more content like this, please hit that thumbs up button, that subscribe button, and thank you for watching.